Hello, welcome back to the hand of fate. These pieces come together in order to allow us a window into your past, the events that have led you here, your reason for being, and perhaps let's take care of us. Uh, well, let's see. There's shortage of food, so we are definitely not going for the the far north. Mm, not this. Maybe this will help. This my oh right. Okay, I'll oh god damn it. Uh, where's the Keturas? Oh here. Gold and vile. Gnome hand. Yeah, we'll take those new cards. Mm, we'll be fighting the undead. Oh wait. How can I filter those? A token. Oh, we don't have a lot. Fight thief, strap. Wait, how that works? Mm. Okay. Um. Resources. Yep. Ah! I damn it, I keep forgetting about that. Caravan robbery might be nice. Dark alley? Yep. Not exploring the, the wilds. Fight shadows, not really. Mm, yeah, let's go with this one. Equipment maybe? One treasure, forbidden defense. Oh! Food game. That's nice. Yeah, let's go with the in by the sea. It's nice. And for the equipment, we've unlocked holy maze. No, that damn it, wrong again. <laughs> I need something for the. I don't think we have anything for skeletons. I'll take the banner pass. Oh, holy purification. Champions plate mail. Mm, give it. Give it to me. Numbers hood and oh, mask of holy fortunes. Uh, of course, this one. About the nudging and maybe something. Nope. Uh, yeah, valiant. Actually, is always nice. Sacrificial blades do holy damage. Okay. And I would like to take some. Mm, yep. We'll take the flintlock. This and food. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> the Empire works against its own people, yet none of it matters. There will be no uprising as long as they are fed. Yet take away their bread. And even the most peaceful begin to consider the songs of revolt. The innkeeper joins you at your table. I have some information. The Reaper was paid up front by a halfway known as Garrick Drokin. The price was apparently an, an entire cartload of gold. He made the contract and then let, left the city. Garrick? A mercenary. He was employed by the Imperial Army for several years until they, they wiped out the halfling kingdoms. Since then, he works for the highest bidder. Uh, where may he may be found? He was last seen on the road to Bradmoor village, a farming village in the outer provinces. The whole area is up in arms with this famine going on. If you want my advice, thank you for first, you should leave the city, forget this life of death and glory, find peace in whatever far off land you can before your enemies catch up with you. 
Who knows what calamity will befall when they find out you're still alive? Yeah. Ah, my blunderbuss. Oh, let's see. Destroy the armor of five armored enemies to unlock the shard. Sounds nice. Can we sell something? No, 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 I don't want to sell anything. You are urged to meet with Badger, a shady businessman whose main line of work involves offering bad loans to people who are desperate or foolish to say no. You decide that your current circumstances demand such drastic action as to undertake such a proposition. Well, okay. Bro, then. Must pay 15 back, yeah. Well. Just to get this. Hunger. It chews at uh, you. Of course. This whole land is starving and you are left with only hard choices. Please, God damn it! The fiends get away free of food, living and shaking your fist in rage. Yeah. Seek, but do not nope. starve. Not yet. I know the sound of it, so. But it's going to soon catch up with you. Well, yet I got it. Are you done? Yeah, I got it. Good. Say, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. If you're ever looking for a job, I always have need for pe of people who can persuade others to do what's right. As Patra and his goons leave, you notice a weapon glinting in the light. You wait until the area is clear before stopping to pick it up. One of Butter's goons must have dropped it, though his band of well-armed cutthroats have more than enough implements of murder. A reward well earned. The people need food. And they turn to you because their leaders have failed them. I have no food. The land itself has failed them. I don't care. God damn it, I care a little bit. Uh... That was fast. Combat solved <laughs> so little. It has ended this, however. Well, at least we've <laughs> they token. Supper's bold. There are still many who can be saved. We'll try that again. This time I'll take more food gain cards. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Encounters gonna and gain any gain for well we have a lot. Over my fuel in order to take the wandering tracker, I think. Well, there's not much to change, really. We need to unlock more cards, may go for the endless soon. Kingdoms of death the were once pledged to my throne. The usurper yeah, cares not for our old suits, however. He has driven the deathless from his lands. Give one food. God damn it! Can you have no food? Oh. We couldn't fault them from the start, god damn it! What kind of weapon do we have equipped? Mm. Yeah, we will be fighting a lot of peasants and I... Probably, you know that is isn't terrible, those who do not fight. Fight. Oh god damn it, I'm alone. Why he has bombs? Really, it went through. God damn it. Okay. Oh. He just fleed? Fled. Keep your food then, mercenary, but know that your greed has cost these men their lives. Huh. It's not my fault. 
Fortunately, this caravan is bound with spells that allow us to travel without arousing the attention of such as these. No, I wanted to draw. I don't care about this. Excellent. Need another courage. A wise decision. Yeah, more than that. Now we'll try to get some food. Here we see yet another wheel. Oh my god, this is so fast. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Well. Okay. Oh. God damn it. I hope I get to keep doing something very useful. Oh. Really? Um. Nope. Oops. Um, come on, come on. Nope, wrong one. Everyone... Suddenly, everyone... It's the... Uh... Oh, damn it, yeah, I hit the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong button. I hate you. Oh, he... Wait, how did he die? I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Do thing. Oh come on! Stop turning around! Just accept your death. I hit the trigger. This is going horribly lately. And we gain nothing. The well fed oh, are unpredictable. The hungry always seek a you know little take it. force if necessary. I have no food. The damage taken from starvation is more than the healing delivered by eating. As What's with many things. We find ourselves sliding further and further into hardship. With little warning, a stampede of gnomes bursts from the tree line, trampling your camp and ruining a perfectly adequate stew. The tiny creatures clamber into the bushes behind and peer out from the foliage of the great anticipation. You turn to see what has frightened them. Okay, I'll change. To, no, I won't change. A larger than average goblin steps into the clearing, a crude sword in one hand and an empty sack in the other. Did some gnomes just come through here? The common stream jiggles with anger at your hesitation. We will not eat them, only throw them. Eh, uh, nope. You reach for your weapon, no good can come from letting this goblin have his way with gnomes. You wish to be thrown too? The large goblin glares up at you as his friends emerge from the forest to assist. Light weapons, okay. And I'll switch. Wait, no, light weapons. The uh, sword is also a light weapon. So it doesn't really matter whether we are fighting with sword of blades. Or the short blades. I know how to call it differently. Daggers. I, I thought she missed. I was sure she missed. Okay, that was fast. Thank you. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. I 
I want to get as much of this run as I can because we're gonna starve soon. Anyway. One of the creatures darts into darkness and returns, dragging a pair of rune-edged daggers behind him. We forge this guard's great swords to wield against our terrible foes, but perhaps they'll serve you better. The gnome coughs and looks at his feet. Also, none of us are strong enough to lift them. It is the nature of things. One faction rises in strength, nice. and so the weapons that defeat them are forged anew. In gratitude, the gnomes quickly restore your campsite before dispersing through the forest. Alright, we can accept the bounty. Now, what does the hunt hold for you? Okay, let's hunt for on that. There's no food to be bought. This costs a lot. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, break camp. Ah, oh, useless. Yeah. Who's as much of a the eye patch on what particular skeleton? Okay, we don't have daggers equipped, that's good. Yeah, I'm losing my patience lately with this game. Too much talking. Let's wrap this up. Do you even need me? <laughs> she would have killed all of them. Only that one, that one death. Definitely need luck. It. You leave the broken bones of peasants scattered across the field to continue your journey. What do you think happens to the mind when one returns from death in this way? What happens to the heart? One night you wake to the sound of a rusty wagon wheel passing on a nearby trail. Cautiously you sneak closer to observe the scene. A drudge of skeletons is slowly dragging a wagon full of corpses through the forest. They seem oblivious to their presence as they continue their journey. Let's follow them. After tedious hours trailing the macabre band, you approach a hill far from, the set from any settlement. Atop the hill stands a stone circle marked with outreach runes. The skeletons drag their prized hole into the center. A sudden flash of blinding light forces you to look away when your vision returns in the circle is empty, apart from an abandoned wagon. Starvation has been the end of many adventurers. Think about purchasing food here. Yeah, I will buy food, don't worry about me. Let us see. I don't know if there's no reason for me to sell out late, maybe. It's better than buying food. Yeah, it really is better than buying food. I have no food. And we're dead. The better oh. or for worse. The northerners understand these lands better than most. One day you meet a northern displaced from her homeland by warfare. She explains she's a tracker for hire, working for those who can pay. She spars at length about the nearby terrain. I have no money and I'm dead. She continues to write tales about her journeys. I still don't have enough gold. She continues to relate. I don't have enough! I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm dead. <laughs> if you would prepare for Callus, you will need to improve your ability to find food. <sighs> well. Hey, but I need to take a break. <laughs> And next time I think we'll go for the endless. Really? Yeah. So now thank you very much.
stay alive and see you soon. Bye!